I started the day just outside of the village and approached with caution. As expected, we were not alone. Have you ever had that feeling that you're forgetting something? You've checked your ammo, your meds, your armor and weapon for repair, but something just feels off. I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd missed something. Tarkov, you bitch. Yeah. Well, that might not make the footage. As embarrassing as that was, we would never have known there was a second shooter on the rocks, and we would likely be dead looting in the middle of the road. Let's just say it was next level play for getting the magazine. Or a happy accident. Approaching the rocks, it was important to take my time to ensure a free kill instead of offering a fair 1v1 duel. Why give him that option? After a wide flank, I was rewarded with a free shot from behind the target. Looking for me? This is why I love woods. You just can't find them. Oof. We tracked down the second shooter, grabbed a beautiful SR-25, and it was time to make our way across the sunken village. That's the fake sniper, right? Bridge sniper going crazy up ahead. I couldn't resist and went to investigate. Oi. I don't know where you have to go to get. Oh. I found poor old Timmy lying dead in the grass. Timmy had some nice loot for us, but this meant the USAC camp had already been hit, so I decided to make my way down the road towards the outskirts. And then the dinner bell rang behind us. Recalculating route. I couldn't resist. Welcome. Ground control, welcome to the bunker. Congratulations, taking the first step, surviving the apocalypse. Getting here, getting the two, three, clearing start at the background check underway. Making sure. You're not CIA, FBI, NSA, or IRS. Taking the time to assess the situation. My patience paid off with a free kill as the PMC was looting. And is that about your head? And as a bonus, his teammate made his presence known. If you went further left than me, I'm in a lot of trouble. As is tradition, I made a wide flank around and got behind the second target. Why, you flank? I cleared the area, then quickly went to scoop their loot, as there could be others nearby. Shooting, shooting fellas in the head. Wrapping up our business with that duo, it was time to make our way to the lumber mill.
He's on the rock. I'd heard shots on the way in, and after clearing the area, found my target creeping around on the rocks by the mill. Got it. I had a nade. Didn't hear me. I'd made a good amount of noise and assumed we'd be fighting him on the rock. Instead, he just tumbled down and went running along the beach. There is such a thing as a free lunch. He didn't hear me in the bush. Alright, this is not dangerous at all. About to make our way toward the outskirts, I wanted to hit the ammo boxes before heading out. But Sturman had other plans for us. Approaching the guards from this location went over like a fart in church, and I knew I'd need better cover to take them on, with the brick shaft being the obvious choice. Ooh, that was him. I can't right or left peek him though. That looked good, dude. That looks even better. Hey, Peter! Put up a scout! When in doubt, nade it out to get the guards moving. Thinks I'm dead. I'm just gonna pop the box for fun. I'm trying to think his red rebel's a miss, even though I got one off him already. He certainly never has it for me. Once again, Sturman didn't have the red rebel for us, so I decided to check his stash before leaving. As I put that on and tank a headshot immediately. That's a 300,000 ruble key. All garbage. Making our way towards the outskirts, disappointed with Sturman's loot, my life briefly flashed before my eyes as a juiced up PMC was crouched staring right at us by the marked circle. Fortunately, he opted to sit at the tree and wait for death. A bold strategy, Cotton. I don't think it's going to pay off. Seriously, with three or four more teammates, this guy could have been a real problem. Make the prepper very nervous. Do we just die right here? Who knows? Scooping up Mr. Juice's loot, my pack already full, I heard movement ahead at the attachment hut. I didn't need the loot, but I couldn't resist. Second one looked good. Also thought I saw other person running. Having killed the first teammate, I again made a wide flank to get behind the second PMC. There'll be a lot of trouble if we look and there's no- oop. As I was saying, there's no body. And again, it paid off. (laughs) 
Sometimes you really want to wait and dial it in, you know? Don't take the first shot, take the best shot. Gen 4 armor and a couple scraps worth taking, but I decided against it as we're seriously out of space and instead made my way to extract. You know what I mean? Like, I already don't rock Gen 4. I'll be alright. Not too shabby for a 120,000 ruble budget ADAR that can be bartered for half that price. If you like this video, I've got a bunch more of them in my playlist, Guns of Tarkov. And if you made it this far, let me know in the comments that you made it to the end, and if there is an underrated gun you'd like to see a video made for. Going strong!